We continue to follow, follow developing news out of Clinton, Missouri, where the heartbroken community is preparing to say its final goodbyes to fallen police officer Gary Michael. People lit up that small town last night with hundreds of candles and a vigil dedicated to Officer Michael. Tomorrow is his visitation and Saturday he'll be laid to rest. Kelly Taylor is live in Clinton with how people there are honoring him. Kelly. Ellen, these flags here were printed for people to hold up along the route as they welcomed Officer Michael's body home yesterday, but they've quickly taken on a new meaning. Michaela Groom designed these black, white, and blue flags at Henry M. Atkins & Son Printing Company after Clinton officer Gary Michael Jr. was shot and killed Sunday. We started with just a couple hundred, and then everyone was wanting them. Everyone was calling and messaging on Facebook, and it just it blew up really fast. Good. Within the last 24 hours, Groom says they've gone through more than 3,000 flags. Katie Gilbert picked up a handful for customers at a local dry cleaner to show support for police. You know, our police officers, they protect us, and it's sad that this happened and unfortunate for the family. And we just like to show, you know, our appreciation. These flags aren't only posted in the windows of businesses. They're in people's homes and cars throughout Clinton. It's uh, unity. You know, uh, Clinton here has a lot of love for each other and we work together. And when uh, one of our uh, uh, officer has fallen, you know, it brings us all closer together. Many say they show a sign of solidarity. You can't describe the people of Henry County and Clinton, Missouri. I, they're just tremendous people. They believe in helping one another. And that's what it's going to take for this one. Groom's small gesture is now a symbol for healing, and she's proud her community is standing with her. We all took a bad situation and came together and made it made it better. Now, in addition to these flags here, homes and businesses are also using blue tape to show their support for the law enforcement community. Live in Clinton, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Kelly. The suspect in the murder is 39-year-old Ian McCarthy. He's expected to make his first court appearance tomorrow. He's charged with first-degree murder and is being held in the Henry County Jail. Today, authorities recovered the rifle that they believe McCarthy used in that shooting.